So we're back with the same crew, except today we're taking a ferry across the Mekong River to the other side. Yep, there's traditional villages, there's hiking, there's waterfalls. So we're gonna do all of that today, hopefully. Really Fun excited. day of exploring, oh, exactly. <laughs> Temples. <laughs> watch it, it's gonna be amazing, guys. Just watch it. 10,000. I come here like yeah. one week ago. There's 8,000. 10, 10. That's a tourist price, Dan. Tourist price. <laughs> so I feel like we've been stuck. So the guys were trying to push the ferry for the last bamboo. five minutes. Yeah, bamboo poles. That's what they use. It's so making definitely some stuck. Yeah, definitely stuck. We're not moving far. Mario seems to think he works on the boat now. Hey, Mario. Woohoo! <laughs> so thanks to me, we started moving again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was all you, it was all you. <laughs> well, I'm coming, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We just arrived at the green jungle park. We've never been here before. Driving here, there was literally no cars. We'd see like a bike or two. It was empty. Yeah, it was, it was literally. So cool for driving. Yeah, it was oh. really, really interesting. And yeah. literally felt like a different country. Mm. It didn't feel like, like Laos it's or Long Asia. Prabang, you know? Yeah. Felt something different. <laughs> but yeah, we're just waiting for Olivia and Dan coming from the toilet and then we'll go and explore. Mm. So apparently, uh, in this area, you can also see these really, really interesting buffaloes with like really. Massive horns. I mean, this one's a fake one. It's not moving as you can see, but we're hoping that we're gonna find real ones and I'm gonna show it to you guys as well. Uh, just as soon as we walked in, there's like a little food hall, um, but it looks really empty. There's it's a group of people there, not sure if you can see, but all is closed, not many things are open. As you can see, there's one restaurant open, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We're at the jungle park entry, at the ticket zone, and there's like a measure over there. It's all Depends how tall you are, is how much you're gonna pay. Look, but Mario, look how expensive. This is for zip lining and rope walking. Okay, that so the activities that we're looking at is kind of out of our budget, yeah. really, because you know, travels and toes, you know how it goes. So I think we might kind of have to skip this one. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we'll do yeah. it. Just want a bit of a trek, see the yeah. waterfall. Yeah. Exactly, so something like uh, should we go and look for the waterfall, guys? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. For dry rock. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What's going on, Maria? So the waterfall is basically dried out. There is no water, but the entry still costs you two dollars to enter. But it, you have a botanical garden. I think they have a botanical garden. But we came here for waterfall, and unfortunately, it's just too dry. There's no water. Which is weird because it's rainy season. Yeah. yeah. No. 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 Okay. No. No. For no. twenty. Sorry, no. <laughs> budget travel guys, budget travel. Stingy. And then we $2 go to the, is then too much. We go to the pop cocktail, 60, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Oh, the next, the next village? Yeah. Drive this way? By about 10 minutes to get to Is it nice? Is there? Just a small village for like traditional, yeah? Just, okay. Yeah, just explore. Good, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna skip the waterfall because it's not there really at the moment and we're gonna skip the garden because it's two dollars and we're stingy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we cannot afford this. Um, but yeah, apparently there's a nice traditional village just around the corner so we're gonna go there instead. what's in there I mean we just keep on going straight on the main road uh, it looks very very traditional like really very old houses little, yeah. so we have stopped in a little traditional village and we're gonna just have a drink because it's super hot today and there's these amazing houses it's just this traditional house here it looks really lovely these little shutters on the windows and yeah that's is so interesting 
I love exploring all these little villages. Everybody's cracking open the beer lao already. Any excuse to drink, yeah? yeah? yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Driving in the sun for 45 minutes. I just want the beer, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mario! <laughs> what well, you doing? It's always, it? It's always Mario. I'm a cancer. I'm a, I'm a cancerian, so it doesn't count. This is better than a waterfall. Time chalk. Time chalk. Right. So we were just enjoying some beers, and then some locals across the road just asked us to come and join them for some beers. Yeah, so we're just gonna go and say hi. It's going to be hard to communicate. Oh god, that's not right. <laughs> Get that seat ready. Beer? Beer. 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 No, beer. Beer. <laughs> Let's not get into the lao lao yet. <laughs> <laughs> so just trying some. Well, this is probably coconut. Mmm, it's lovely. Good. Yeah. Probably just right out of the jungle. Mmm. Some na, some na. Let me try. Mmm. We're getting some beer from the locals. My girl. <laughs> This is amazing. Thank you. It's not my Sokdi, 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 Sokdi. You Lao, you Lao, uh, you Lao. Then Chakpi, Chakpi, Chakpi. You know what that is? Name, maybe. Okay. No, 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 no. You Chakpi. Name? Sampi, Sampi, Sampi. Something. I am Sarina, and your name is. You. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Sarina, cool, <laughs> Okay. Sarina, Dan, Mario. Olivia, Mario. What's your name? Andy, what's your name? You New Zealand, New America. No America. No America. No America. No, America. No, America. New Zealand. Switzerland, yeah. Switzerland. You know. No, no. Oh, <laughs> Switzerland. It's true. Yeah, you know. New, New Zealand. Swiss, New Zealand. Okay. <laughs> no, I think he said New Zealand. <laughs> Pretty sure it was New Zealand. <laughs> There's a bit of a language barrier. <laughs> Tiny language barrier. We have no idea what's going on, but we're having fun. You know if anybody knows what he's asking, <laughs> let us know in the comments. No, speak Lao. We don't speak Lao, so. You speak there. We have no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck me. 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 Fuck Oh, hot, hot, hot. hot. Whoa, and beer, okay, yeah? Yeah. Hot. yeah. Hot. 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 Oh, we were about to leave and they poured us another beer and so we might have to stay a bit longer. Once you start drinking with locals, it's really, really hard to leave because they will never let your glass be empty. Be warned. But it's really nice. It's really nice to meet locals. Chai. Chai. What is good? I don't know what goodbye is. Goodbye. Okay, we escaped. No, I'm joking. A lot of people are super friendly, always trying to make conversation even though there is a very big language barrier. But yeah, now we're gonna head back to the main village where there's like pottery and temples and things like that. So we are in the, is it Chompet village? Chomp, Chompet. Chompet village. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and there's all these temples you can go to. So I think we might head up there soon. But are we getting food first or? 
Yeah, maybe we should. Where's yeah. the food and then? Yeah. Yeah. Get some more food. energy and then we'll yeah. see the temple. Yeah, maybe cold water. Okay, we're gonna go for food yeah, 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 yeah. before we do any walking to temples. Probably just gonna go somewhere local around the corner. Some fried rice or fried noodles or something. The street is really nice just to drive along and see all the traditional houses and little restaurants and shops. Wow, thank hey. you. Okay, we're gonna eat here. Mm -hmm. It's so open. <laughs> the green tea, lao coffee, fruit season shake. Get, get us, get us shake. Fried with a weed. Hello. Are you getting a drink? No. He doesn't like it. <laughs> right, so just after a little fueling up, uh, we are gonna go to see the temples now. Like some kind of temple. Wat Long Kong, that's another yeah. temple. I think maybe monks live we'll here. Go all or the way. There's a stupa here. And a, a temple, I think. Yeah, this is a temple. Uh, very it's old. Very, very temple. old. Look at this. Mm. Wow. Wow. And there's another shiny. temple, which also looks amazing, if you can see. Yeah. The artwork Beautiful. is lovely. There's quite a lot of temples here on the road. I mean, just coming here, we've already encountered like four temples yeah. or more. So, this is, this is where probably a lot of monks live yeah, as well. I don't think it should be. Hi, buddy. I think monks are a bit shy here. They never really respond. They just kind of smile. Everybody has these lovely traditional houses right on the Mekong River. It's really nice. Life here! <laughs> so we just arrived at this little spot here and oh that looks really nice actually here's like the opening of the Mekong River it looks beautiful some nice views here isn't it guys yeah. Yeah. these little stairs here and there's like a little boat over there so let's go and check this one out. Wow, it really looks nice. The views are really, really wonderful. So Lam Prabang is all the way there. Not sure if you guys can see, but that little mountain over there, that's Pusi Hill. to go up to Wat Chompet, I think it's called. Um, it's one of the main temples on this side of uh, the river. Loads of information about it, yeah. But I think it's to do with like the kings and the old royal family and they used to have ceremonies here I think and yeah, it's really interesting so we're gonna head up. I think it's 10,000 kit per person and we're gonna enjoy the views of Lauren Prabang from this side of the river. How many steps is there? I think it said 130 or something. 130. Oh no. <laughs> Here we go. Sports guys, how everyone's feeling so far? <laughs> you okay, Mario? Oh yeah, feeling fantastic. So here we are, we've done the 100 steps or whatever it was. And now we're arriving to this beautiful place. <laughs> Mid gas, but. Look at these old. Wow. That's not old, that's ancient. Oh, wow. It's pretty impressive. And here's the view yeah. to Lamprabang. 
And that over there is Pusa Hill, not sure if you can see guys, but wow. it looks pretty cool. So there is not much left from this building. I'm pretty sure this temple is pretty old. It looks really impressive. Yeah, this is amazing. Really nice temple. These look so old though. I know, right? They're still standing. They do look very, very ancient. literally breathtaking okay so there is a big storm about to come and we need to cross back over the river so we're gonna head back now I think we haven't seen everything on this side but there is like a pottery village and traditional things to do here so we will come back here next time and do that yeah yeah maybe, yeah. maybe try and do our own pottery yeah and hopefully we're not gonna bump into local people drinking loads of beer loud because that kind of stopped us a little yeah, bit yeah that that slowed us down a bit today so we'll come back next time but for now we're heading back to the wang Pabang. so only a few hours later we got to this tangor place um and we have these amazing little tapas, tapas. Mm. we got it in the previous video and we came back for it again because so good. Yeah, and we brought our friends. Um, Dan is actually holding the torch in here because <laughs> you can barely see us. The <laughs> lighting technician. <laughs> yeah, so we're getting a lot of uh, free cool draft beer and a lot of tapas. So sorry guys, but we're gonna have to go right now. So see you next time. Bye. See ya. <laughs>